This is my favorite shtick ever. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 31st episode of the show Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 236th episode overall, titled Beware the Third Wish. We begin this episode at a fountain where Ashley wishes for world peace, tossing in a coin. She then tells him that she can't say what she actually was wishing for or else it won't come true. Then Justin is up next and Carlos tells him he can't use that coin because his dad gave it to him. What? Then we get a blurry flashback where Justin remembers getting the coin from his dad as a little kid because he gave him a lucky coin while he was gone. Justin wishes for his dad to come back, back to stay. Where the hell does Justin live? Then they say that they're going to go get food, which is exactly what Cassie wished for, which is an amazing line. They leave Justin behind, who sees a monster using a net to get the coins out. He yells at him to put them back, and then he leaves with Rygog. What a lame setup. Then Piranatrons show up, and the other hears something running back. They then help out Justin against the Piranatrons, and we get some nice stunts in this one, actually seeing these people fight for once. Meanwhile, the monster is still taking more coins from the fountain, but then he gets shot at by... The Blue Centurion! I legit forgot he existed. The rangers run over to the blue centurion who says that he was just doing his job, leaving. Justin then bitches about how they got his coin, and Cassie is confused as to why Deeptox would even want coins from a fountain. On the space base, the monster, Wicked Wisher, has presented three coins to Divatox, and he has made these coins magical, so any wish you make on this coin will come true. He's pissed because she only has three coins, saying that she needs hundreds of wishes, and Wicked Wisher says he can only do three because he's too old now but she demands he does more. She grabs a coin, and while she's thinking about it, Elgar grabs a coin wishing for a full head of hair. Divatox calls him Fabio, and she's pissed that one of her wishes is now gone, and Elgar says that he wishes he had some cream rinse for his hair. <laughs> Divatox wishes for the Blue Centurion to be evil. We then see the Blue Centurion's helping a bicyclist with a tire, but then his chest and helmet parts go black, and he starts just ripping the bike apart, throwing it down while laugh screaming. In the power chamber, Demetria informs the rangers how dangerous Wicked Witcher is, and Ashley explains how she thought it was just a myth that coins in a fountain made wishes come true, but Alpha says that it is on Earth, but he's not from Earth, so... What? EJ's gonna go back to the fountain. Wicked Witcher is there getting more coins, but he can't get more wishes to work, and he's actually frustrated about it. His magic isn't working at all. TJ walks up behind, hiding. He then comes out morphed, kicking the Wicked Wisher. He then goes one-on-one -on -one with the monster, getting giant coins tossed at him before he uses his sidearm to blast him. Wicked Wisher then runs away. We see the periscope peek out of the fountain, and Divatox is yelling for Elgar, who has a new hairstyle. She says, or should I say, Ellen. That's transphobic, Divatox. She then just tells Rygog to go in with a new weapon. TJ and the Wicked Wisher are fighting in a city plaza, and TJ gets hit back, and the Blue Centurion drives in on his bike, and he goes straight for TJ, almost hitting him. Wicked Wisher introduces Divitox's first wish. TJ tries to explain that he's good, but no talk is working here, turning into a cool little fight between TJ and the Blue Centurion. TJ gets his ass kicked in this fight, but they're firing at each other a lot, and TJ almost gets a Blue Centurion tied up in lasers, but it doesn't work. The Wicked Wisher has brought back a bunch of coins to Divatox, and he explains that the coins aren't for wishing though, but he could buy something cheap. Divatox is pissed because now she realizes she only actually has one wish left. She goes out to the balcony, complaining about how Aladdin got three wishes. Weird reference. She is standing next to Elgar, and she holds out her coin, wishing for the rangers to be for all of eternity, and she never gets to finish this wish because Elgar's hair dryer starts scaring him back, knocking the coin out of Divatox's hands into the vacuum of space. I love Elgar. It goes toward Earth, and she tells him to go get it, and we see Elgar fly through space with luscious locks. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull are now plumbers, apparently, and they say that this lady's pipe is so bad, nothing's gonna get through it. And then we see the coin has landed on Earth, and it goes through the pipe, coming out. The lady then just fires them, and we just see them walking out, leaving, and then Elgar lands in the background. I love seeing Elgar with hair, looking for the coin, which Bulk and Skull now have. In the power chamber, Justin is bummed and Carlos walks over, asking if it's about his dad. Justin explains how if Deep Jocks gets to make bad wishes come true, how come when he wishes for good things, it won't happen? Carlos explains that he's sure that Justin's dad wishes he could be there with him right now, which is BS because his dad clearly hasn't cared for a while here. I mean, he hasn't been around since, like, what, episode 8? TJ explains that Wicked Wisher said that Divatox has three wishes, so she actually has two left. Alpha thinks he might have found the Wicked Wisher, and he pulls it up on the viewing globe, and apparently, Wicked Wisher and the Blue Centurion are making people empty out their pockets and purses, and they have a big drawing of the coin that they're looking for. Cassie immediately says how they must have misplaced the coin, so TJ says they have to find it before before they do. Shift in the turbo. The rangers show up and they get the civilians to run away. Blue Centurion insists on fighting them and Wicked Wisher and the crew teleport away. TJ says they have to neutralize him somehow and the Blue Centurion starts firing at them. And they try to talk sense into him but there's no point. They're all getting their asses kicked. TJ explains how Divatox wished him to be evil but again Blue Centurion can't hear them. They need to just shut up and do what they have to do. He then does this weird laser bounce off attack 
hitting them, but then the Wicked Wisher comes flying in and he really tosses the crap out of Justin. The Blue Centurion comes in venging how Wicked Wisher is stealing his fight, and he tosses coins at them that explode around them. TJ calls out the turbine laser and the rangers fire at Wicked Wisher, blowing him up. Deep Talks is pissed about all this, firing the torpedoes. Then Elgar Sans hair shows up by the Blue Centurion, telling him it's time to go because Deep Talks wants to see him. Elgar, where's your hair? Wicked Wisher is now giant, so the rangers call out their rescue zords, forming the rescue megazord. Wicked Wisher starts off by tossing coin bombs at them, but then he just kicks them, but they actually get the punch back. Rangers hit him back, calling out their artillery power, using it to blow up Wicked Wisher once and for all. Dutox is demanding that every Prontron goes down, searching for the coin, but Porto says they should just make the humans do the search for them. He introduces a new monster, the Wild Weeder. In the power chamber, the turbo navigators have been modified to help search for the coin, so the Rangers teleport out. Meanwhile, at the youth center, Bulk and Skull use the coin in a pinball machine. To be continued. This episode's like oddly good to be honest. Like I still think the whole setup of how Justin's dad is always away and whatnot is complete garbage. But what it is, this episode hits a lot of beats very well. Funny, it's action packed, it's competently written, and it's well shot. I mean, what else could you really ask for in a Power Rangers episode? With Wicked Witcher dead and the Wild Weeder being introduced in the epilogue there, that's a super interesting new way for them to kind of tee up the next episode that we've never seen before. I dig this experimentation that they've been doing, even if it sometimes fails like last episode. So next time, we'll get the conclusion to Justin's coin saga. But until then, may the power protect you.